Right side or quarter? Let's see a set of hands. Who 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 prefers the broad side over the quarter? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right how many prefer the quarter in shot? As long as it's a quarter in the leg. Yeah, quarter in the leg. One, two, mm -hmm. three. You guys are right. The reason that is, all you have to do is go out at the next 3D target that you see, and what happens on a broadside shot is you get it generally broadside, and you get a scattering of the error. <coughs> On, you, you can take a brand new 20 yard target out in a, in a tournament, or you know, and you'll put one broadside and a quartering away. And if you've got that shot quartering away, now if I could get that to go out that hole, you're always going to be a winner with that quartering away shot because it's driving it up into the thoracic cavity. Whereas when you shoot the, broad hit, the broadside shot, ah, I'll tell you what happened. My arrows are different diameters than what I had. I can't. Anyhow, if you shot that broadside shot right through there, and you spread that around, this is where it's supposed to come out, right? Anyhow, you've got the flat side shot, but you're back behind the diaphragm, and you end up in a gut shot. Now, you know, that's why a quartering away shot is always better. Quartering forward shot is not good, but a quartering way is. Okay, that was uh, another brand new bow arm. Uh, oh, brand new bow arm, okay. All right, now, you're a brand new bow hunter, and you're up in a tree stand, you're taking this shot right here, number 12. Are you taking it, or are yeah. you? Okay, all right. Yep, how many agree with that? That's a good shot, because that arrow is going to come down, it's going to come down in there. Basically, you got a high hole, and this is that classic shot. You got a high hole, and you got a low hole. You're going to get a lot of blood on the ground in a hurry, in a big hurry. So that's a real good shot for you beginning low hunters. That's the shot you want. Even though it might be looking your way, and you know, you're you're behind it, it's off this way, you're gonna shoot right in there. Okay, one more hunter. Uh, any more new book any more new guys? One more new guy. Two more. Oh, you guys in there. Okay. Alright. <coughs> we'll do it until we get one out of new guys. Number ten. You got a bow and arrow, you're 20 yards away. Are you shooting number ten? No. Are you guys shooting number ten? There's a lot of Switch grass, weeds, and all that garbage. I'm ten feet off the ground. I take that shot. Okay, <clears throat> I wouldn't take that shot. You got a chance of having arrow deflection. That word integrity comes into play right now. You may be able to shoot a broadhead through those weeds, but if you shoot it and you have a bad result, you're going to have to lay in bed with that ugly woman all night, <laughs> asking yourself. Why didn't I just learn how to cook? There they are. Now don't, don't put yourself in a shot like that, and then because you can't go, you can't call that arrow back. And if you have a bad shot, that's all you're going to do is cuss yourself out. Going, I knew I should have waited. Because I tell you what, yeah, it's a hard and bitter pill to swallow. You, you don't have bad results when you get that clear shot. You know when you, you have a shot like this, or so. That shot like that, and it's going to be real tempting. And what's really going to make it tempting, this changes the guy's ethics overnight. If that's looking like that, you may shoot that shot, because it's just a doe. You put that on his head, and I know damn well you're going to shoot that shot. <laughs> because you're going to say, that's the buck of a lifetime. No. And <laughs> You gotta set your own rule guidelines. Okay, the next one, Jeffrey, I got a dot for you. Now, we're gonna move up here, and this is number 11, Jeff. It's a trotting deer, 10, 15 yards away, in your tree stand about 12 feet high. Are you shooting that shot? I would say no. Uh, Jeffrey said he wouldn't, wouldn't shoot that shot. 
What do you say, old man? I wouldn't shoot it either. I'm not confident it's a moving game. Okay. A anybody in the room going to shoot that? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, that's one thing. When you people are practicing, and I see this on TV all the time, and it'll be a deer movement, and the first thing you'll see is these Saturday morning celebrities, they're a full draw, and a moving deer, beep, beep, beep. I don't know whether they got sick to the stomach or what they did, <laughs> but they're having something go on. Because they just broke silence. You might as well fart it. You know, maybe they could call it buck, buck or something. I don't know. But they let out these little meeks and maps and all this. And then the next thing you know, the arrow's on its way. And then you know where the arrow ends up? Right in the shoulder blade. And I've seen that more and more on TV. And they got them high dollar bows and they got the releases and they got. Hell, they got more name badges. They got, they got people waiting in line to get their autographs at Deer Classic shows. First of all, you just gave yourself away when you went mint. And second of all, the deer looks right at you. Now you're in a state of shock, so you just bam, and you don't aim. You just get the arrow because the jig's up. The deer knows something's going on. And 99% of the time, when you make that, you, that's not something you do here on this lane. I've never heard anybody standing up here throwing up. <laughs> oh, I'm going to shoot that pig back there. <laughs> Whatever they do, then they, you're all out of sync. That's not natural. I shot shots like I've that. I've seen you do it once. You was pretending. Oh, you was practicing. I seen you do it. He was going. I, I, the last thing I want to let that deer know is I'm in the woods. Because I do know, I've shot those deer, and I'm at, I've got a little more experience with something, I feel comfortable with that. That deer's probably only going eight miles an hour, and I'm shooting something that's probably going at least 200 miles an hour, and I can kill that deer. So if he's coming through there at a pace, that's getting to know your deer, they're trotting through there, they're maybe seven, eight miles an hour, and you put that pin on there, that's going to be a dead deer. But in my way of thinking, now that's, you know, it's just quarter of the way, the arrow's going to go forward. I'm shooting that deer. But then again, I'm glad you're not shooting that deer because of your inexperience. So what I would do and what you do would be two different things. But, so, you know, I'm glad you wouldn't shoot it because at your level, that's the right thing to do because you don't want to sleep with that ugly woman. I'll tell you what, that's oh boy, I'll tell you. You roll over and she's there and you roll over and all you do is, it makes you mad at yourself. You might want to give up archery because you don't think the weapon's efficient and now you hate yourself for what you did. So if you don't feel comfortable with it, at your level of experience, by all means, don't do it. Okay, Kevin, we got one more for you. So you just started bow hunting. Yes. Okay, how many pounds did you shoot, Kevin? Uh, I haven't even got a bow yet. Haven't even got a bow. Okay, well. Number nine, Kevin. I'm gonna wait until he moves. Could, could these things, that deer, everything on that deer is covered, covered up. <clears throat> and so, You've got to wait, Kevin, for the shot to materialize. Don't rush it. There's nothing there to aim at. Now, how many gun hunters in here are going to shoot that shot? Okay, that's a different story. You got the neck. You got to, you can squeeze it in, butt that shoulder blade. You can take it out in the head. But when you shoot in the head, it's totally fucked. You could break the, the skull plate, and the rack ain't gonna be worth nothing. But a gun, that's a gun shot. Bow, that's a no go. Okay and you won't have to sleep with an ugly woman, okay? Yes, I mean, every hour you go over. First of all, you probably have that arrow stuck right there. <laughs> uh, but, so don't shoot that shot. Good job, good job. Okay, look, fi last and final number 32. Okay, we, got, we still got anything up there for you to shoot? Uh, okay, number six. This is a little spike buck. Now that spike buck is a spike buck. It's a cow deer, per se. So it could be shot as a doe. It, 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 it's leaping pretty high when they get full stride. That's Santa Claus got a sled up behind him. What do you think? Yeah, I ain't shooting that shot either. That deer's in flight. I mean, it's bounding. The difference between 
this deer and this deer, this deer is trotting, they're looking for a doe, and it's, it might be, and it's moving, I'd shoot that deer. This deer just got spooked, and it's hollering, hollering butt. Now, if you got a high-powered rifle and you feel real confident and you're a real good shot, you may shoot that, but I ain't shooting that, you know, because that's out of the question. Okay, enough of that. Everybody agree with that? Everybody have fun with that? That's pretty cool. Uh, it's really neat to have that many beginning hunters that got to know this stuff. And you, I, I really feel good. All of you passed that test. All of you turned it down and all of you were up in front of people and you put under the rest and they're stressed and you kept a level mind and you didn't feel bad about saying no. And right there is maturity and responsibility. You know, you, if it's not comfortable for you, then you by all means do not take that shot.